Hey, Phil from Got Memories here in the shop on a Sunday with this one job that's racking my mind. Um, it is a customer from Ireland. Now I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, she found me on YouTube with some of my other videos. She has PAL discs to PAL mini DVD discs. Okay, so if you've got these camcorders, she thinks... There's a lot of people, it was Sony, and this is very common. If your discs are not finalized, they will not play in anything. So when you put them in, and you can fast forward through this bit right here, as opposed to me rambling, um, and they will not play. So you need to finalize them in the original camera that you have. Has to be the same branded camera. I mean, sometimes Sony... If you had a Sony camera, you lost it, destroyed it, um, and you buy a new one on eBay, uh, and then it won't finalize, it could be because th there's like two different versions of the Sony stuff. And then I go on about Panasonic, Hitachi, Toshiba, goes on and on. Basically, it is a giant effing mess, okay? So this particular job, usually stuff I can overcome. Now this one here is because it's PAL, the European system, like you can see right here, it's flashing, nothing. It will not, it says format error, okay? So not only is it not reading, but it's not. So if I try and put this in a regular DVD player, um, it's just gonna read it and then it's gonna say unformatted. Um, it'll click and click and click. And again, you can skip through this part right here if you want unsupported. So in this situation, number one, the DVD is not finalized. Number two, it's European format. Number three, you do need a European formatted camera to play this stuff. So if you've got stuff from overseas, it's not NTSC, the US format. If this is all over your head, Good luck. This is very, it can get complex. So I'm going to finalize or at least retrieve, try and retrieve the data using CD roller. Okay. Now this is a PC only paid piece of software. CD roller. It is PC only. Mac, it's a pain. I am all Mac here. And Going back to a PC, woo, it's like stepping back into the 90s again. So I have loaded on an external drive because some reason CD Roller, Roller is not enjoying the drive on this PC here. Um, okay, and if you are trying to use um, Mac programs to load this, this PC program, forget about it. It's just a pain. You might as well just get a cheap laptop off of uh, eBay or whatever. Um, Okay, so it has loaded the disc. You can see here, it says, D oh, I've got the iPhone 14. Whenever you zo zoom in, look at it. Anyway, back to the program. It says DVD, E drive. I'm gonna select E drive right here. Okay, recover DVD video. I'm gonna do that. Now it's gonna say E drive. And your disk is recognized, that's a good sign. Now in here, this software, you can, there's a drop down menu here where you can select the different versions or the different brands of cameras, DVDs, you know, like set top DVD recorders like these, if you haven't finalized those. But this says Sony DVD camcorder, so I'm gonna select it. And then it shows the tracks. So here it's recognizing track three. That's good. It's a good sign. So next, and then next, and it's gonna start a scan, which is very, very slow going. So as of right now, 1%. And I'm gonna, once this is all done, I'm gonna pick this video back up. Okay, I'm back now. On here, it's got VOB, so I'm gonna select that, and then I'm gonna recover it. So this is taken, I took about 15 minutes for that, for the bars to go across the screen. 
Now it's one VOB, that is a video object file, it is MPEG-2. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna hit that. And then I'm just gonna save it to the desktop. And then here we go again. And that's gonna take even more time here. So we're at 1%, uh, yeah, 2%. So you get the picture, it's gonna take quite a while. I'll hit you back when it's done. Okay, I'm just checking on it. We're at uh, 60, 71%, so we're almost done. Okay, so this has successfully, so down here is a VOB file. So I'm gonna drag this over to uh, a USB drive here and Let's just drag this over. Let's put that there, let it go. So this is then gonna copy over to this drive because it is right now a useless video object file, which is what DVDs, the, the, the meat and potatoes of the DVD video file is VOB. So if you open up like a Hollywood DVD or anything like that, it's all VOB files. So it is MPEG-2 but it's completely unreadable by anything. So it needs to be converted to an MP4 file, which is the modern file format for everything. And this is just completing here. You can skip through this part onto the next. And I should, if I get around to it, I'm gonna put uh, titles and the uh, chapters in the description. You can just skip to certain parts. Okay, so that's that now i'm going to bring it over to the mac and this is my okay here we go so let's have a look here let's clean this desktop up it's been a lazy sunday okay so that's why i'm making some videos today just because the phones are quiet I'm not getting pestered every two minutes with the phone ringing. Okay, so here's the, oh my life. All right, here we go. So, trying to do this one-handed. Click on here. So that VOB at the top there, 1.42 gigs. I'm gonna highlight that, and I'm just gonna drag that onto the desktop. So it's coming up right here. That's gonna take a second. And then, use this software right here i know this is a lot um but for you diehards out there this is what you need to do or i can do it for you um gotmemories.com but the iSky video converter in the app store this is i believe 50 dollars this here cd roller is 60 um and there was something else you needed I can't remember right now, but yeah, you're up to 110 bucks right now um, in software. So I'm gonna just select the VOB file. Now it's got a white, you can see all these other ones here have got like, you know, you can see a little thumbnail. It's because it's MP4, it can read it. This VOB is unreadable right now. So let's say I click on this, on this VOB, boom. It's just not recognized, choose application. Yeah, forget about it. All right, so we're gonna go back to iSky. We're gonna select that VOB file, it's loading it. And voila, we have an image right here. So if I play it, boom, there it is. 37 minutes long, I can go through all of this. But in the meantime, it needs to be converted to MP4. So I'm just exporting it. I've got a bunch of different options here, but I'm keeping this simple. Uh, MP4, SD480P, which was its original. And then I'm just gonna set it to go to the desktop. Oh, let's have a look. All right, so it's gonna go to the output to the desktop and then convert all. And then we're gonna leave this alone. And it's gonna tell you kind of a time right here, nine minutes or so, nine minutes. Here we go, it's starting to go. So I will hit back when that is complete. 
Okay, here we are. We got five, four, three, two, one. And it's going to give a little bling when it's done. Stand by. There we go. All right. So we're going to close that out. Now, look at what we have here. So it says zero merge, and then I'm giving these numbers. So that is number eight. This can all be changed. But eight, and now, look, it is an MPEG-4. So watch this. When I click it, there it is right there. So you can. 20 degrees. Have timers everywhere. And you can go that quickly now. It's got Christmas. <laughs> It's color, so it's MPEG-4, but it's, uh, it's, sorry, it's PAL, but it's coming through as color, so you never have to deal with the NTSC PAL situation ever again. But yeah, so this is uh, everything, and you can whip through the entire contents. So that disc is saved. That's what I do. Um... If you are looking to do that yourself, it is a complete and utter kerfuffle if you don't know what you're doing. If you have them and you don't know what the hell's going on, you can go to gotmemories.com, fill out the quote form. as best information uh, you can give to me. Um, if you've got other videotapes, all this kind of stuff, VHS, film reels, I do all of it. Film reel stuff's over there. Um, if you're thinking this is, you know, going to cost a couple bucks to get done, think again. So if you're just looking for bargain basement, you don't really value any of this stuff, you know, it's just kind of kicking around and you're just going, eh, <sighs> well, probably not a good fit because I'm not cheap and this stuff is all a pain in the backside. I don't know what I'm getting in. People get, give me stuff in all shapes and sizes. So I do all the work myself. I've been doing this for over 20 years. So um, I am an expert at this. And if you are shopping around trying to find the lowest bid anywhere, you're going to end up with drama. Um, you need, first of all, a company where they've got a YouTube channel just like this, transparency. You can see all the equipment. They're giving you valuable education, advice for free, um, you know, without even asking for anything in return um and also 5.0 on google with hundreds of reviews that is my expert advice there sorry my phone's going off um so when you get everything back it kind of looks i'm just doing another video here in between but like you've got all these videotapes you just number them and then they all end up like so so you can click on them Nice and clean picture. And that's where I come in, is clean pictures. So if you are shopping around and you're looking at going to these places, people find me on YouTube and they're like, hell no, <laughs> got memories. Um, South Tree, oof, Legacy Box, they're all the same company, not iMemories. And then there's Kodak Digitizing. All these companies, these are all boxes where people have got the box and they've seen my videos and they're like, yeesh. Um, and they've also seen the reviews online with, you know, the ads on Facebook and you click on the comments for all these legacy box, all these online box companies, and they have atrocious reviews. Um, so you got one copy of this stuff. So if you value it, yes, it is priceless and you want to have less anxiety. That's where I come in. There are a handful of us really good guys around the country. I network with a lot of them. And, um, you know, if you find someone in your local area or another company that have got a YouTube channel and perfect reviews, uh, you know, like more power, like go for it. Um, but just be really careful. Um, and here's an example. So like you can get this and this, believe it or not, are the same tape. Okay, so where you play this, I'm not gonna say who that is that transfers all this kind of stuff, but. And this comes from a really simple fix head cleaners. New heads 
keeping track of all the heads clean and everything because when you get these things transferred these heads here get clogged up with people's crappy videotapes yours might be in really good shape you might have taken very good care of them and proud to say that you know you're like hey i've taken great care of them but the person whose stuff went in before yours looks something like this. I don't know if you can make out the mold on there, but there's quite a few tapes here that are absolutely gross, humid conditions. Oh, there's one of them in here that's really bad. And I'm like, no, oh, here we go. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see all that white right there, but that is mold. So your stuff might look really pretty, nice, clean, well taken care of, and then they, they put that tape in, boom, and then they put your tape in afterwards, and it looks like crap, because this has just clogged the heads, and now your stuff looks like crap, because the heads are clogged, and they've got, and these companies have these employees that do not care, the hourly, here today, gone tomorrow, they're not paying attention, they're not even watching this stuff, I mean, yes, you don't watch it, but, um, you know, I'm not sitting there with popcorn, but I'm monitoring everything as it's going. And if I see any problems, I'm stopping the tape, I'm cleaning the heads, I'm, I'm investigating as to why that's happening. With all these companies, they are just profit, profit, profit. They just stack your tapes in DVD players or computers, whatever. They're not watching it, so they're not adjusting for tracking or checking if the heads are clean, dirty, whatever. And then it all comes out looking like crap and i've just got some ones and twos here yeah so again same clear picture and this is rife in this industry and unfortunately these box companies have devalued because they have devalued the 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 workmanship and everything that goes into making a nice clean picture because uh, they're just all, it's a race at the bottom. They're charging eight bucks a tape or whatever for a four, two hour tape, $4 an hour. Like, forget it. Like no one is going to be doing quality work for eight bucks a tape. You might as well take that money and light it on fire because you can't even watch that stuff. So this is a one time special purchase where you've got one copy of this stuff. So you have to be really careful. And that's the message throughout my YouTube channel, throughout the videos that I ramble on and on again about is people taking this seriously because the they everyone thinks because it's so it's such instant gratification these days of, you know, you plug something in, zip it, it plays, great. People think that there's this magic all in one machine that takes a videotape and just goes and all the data's off it just like a drive. It isn't. It's all a real-time process. So if you have a two-hour videotape, there's the time to rewind it, then the tape breaks, then you transfer it, then you got to render it, then you got to drop the files to a drive, also upload them to the cloud. If everything goes perfectly, if there's any problems, you're stopping the tape, you're patching together the good bits and the bad Trust me, it's a lot of work and headaches. So if you think you're going to get a quote to transfer all this stuff for 200 bucks, like think again, um, you might find a company to do it, but good luck. Um, again, YouTube channel and Google reviews with hundreds of reviews, 5.0 and we got them up to like 260 something now. And also on Google reviews, making sure that with all the, the reviews, um, the purse, the, the company owner, whatever, replies back to those reviews, good or bad, especially bad, um, and explains everything. But if you see the same problem and people writing really long reviews with negative reviews, that's kind of crappy, you know, that there's something up, and especially if you see a pattern of it as well. But um, yeah, Google reviews are everything. Yelp, eh, but... Uh, you need to see the premises, transparency, and everything. So that's the end of this video. Hope uh, you got some value out of it. And if you do need a quote, you can go to gotmemories.com. Um, or if you're looking to do it yourself, all the best to you. All right, cheers.